before built, there was actually two fountains in the garden. So what, there was a fountain in the garden of Bridgeford Street, you know, the square one. If you've been, that would be um, the C and F, C and F around there. And there was one between A, B and C. And they actually did spill water. Now over the years, I don't know whether they broke down, but the water, um, the water stopped coming because the kids were under it and they used to love it. I think it was actually on a tea block as well because they, they actually had the, the thing for it, but I never actually remember a fountain there, but there was two fountains around the back. of Oliver Wong's garden on Bridgeford Street Hill. As you can see, the blocks are all around us. The kids played in the flats behind. They had squares and they played football, round towers, skipping and piggy and whatever. Um, when they were doing the renovation of the flats, the fountains was taken away and um, they were never replaced. Um, I don't know whether the corporation have them in storage or where they are. Standing here now, it would be a nice place for a, a fountain or even a statue of somebody famous or something. But it's, it's horrible just looking at it. It's just bare. And actually, a lot of tourists go up and down this road because Guinness is on the road. Oh, this is the main route to Guinness. And it would be nice for them to look in and see a fountain.